Hello, my name is Raymond Gann, and I'm excited to be applying for a job at your company as a software developer. I want to show you my web application, which I wrote in Ruby on Rails, called Cherry. And let me switch to it right now. Okay, here it is. It's a Ruby code, it's an online Ruby code editor and RSpec, and I Envision this will be used by three types of people. One, it could be used by companies like yours to screen out job candidates and test the software skills of job applicants. Two, it could be used by schools to test students' Ruby skills. And three, it could be used by anyone to just learn Ruby and play around. So first, let me show you briefly what this thing is. This has an online Ruby code editor. This has, uh, this lets you, my app lets you upload RSpec software tests. It also lets you upload Ruby code. And it lets you run, with one click of the button, it lets you run the software test against the code and see any, any errors. I have a how to use tab right here. You notice it, it navigates very quickly. So the Ruby code editor. Um, is similar to Khan Academy, Code School, editors like that, where you can type Ruby directly in the code and it can evaluate it. Here's a sample method I wrote to check if a number is prime. And here's a method that does a bubble sort on 200 random integers. So let me run the code. Here you go, you see the output. It checks, uh, this is one of the biggest no prime numbers I know. It checked that it was prime. It's random digits. Now, you can change the number on the fly. Let's say I want to check if this number is prime instead. And let's say if I want to sort 20 digits instead of 200. Let's run the code again. Boom, it changed directly. My code editor also protects, um, it's actually running, evaluating all the code through something called a JRuby sandbox. So overall, this is JRuby. It runs it through this sandbox to protect from malicious code. So it doesn't let through commands like system, for example. You can see it's forbidden. Um, I also don't let commands like fork through or backticks or any other kinds of things that could, that could mess with your system. Um, I also uh, capture error messages like dividing by zero. Um, and any kind of error you can imagine, I grab error messages. So I make the output of this code editor similar to IRB, if you're familiar with that. That's just an interactive Ruby environment that uh, all Rubyists use. Um, and I grab three things, the standard output of the code, the uh, return value of the code, and any error messages. So for example, you could say, you know, puts 5 plus 10, you can print out uh, the number 15. If you can see, just like, oh, whoops, I said puts, sorry, puts. Um, so you can see, just like IRB, I return two values. I, re I get the standard output, which is 15, and the of the put statement, which is null. All right, let's say, how do we, so how do we use this? Let's say, uh, besides playing around with the code editor, you want to upload a software test. So here's a greeting spec. This is a test that requires the job applicant or the student to write a program that says, good morning, Santa. OK? Let's say you don't want to have it say, good morning, Santa, and you change your mind. You want to have it say, good morning. You want the job applicant to say, good morning, Santa Claus, in his program. You can edit it directly in the browser, save it. See, the program is saved. Now, the job applicant can upload his greeting code right there. Boom. And you can run just like that. There you go. Test is run. It shows you what parts failed and what part passed. So you can see that we expected the job applicant clause, but we got Good Morning Santa instead. Let's, but hey, never fear. You can change the code on the fly and say, hey, OK, let's change it to Good Morning Santa Claus. Let's save the code and test it right away. Boom, there we go. Now everything passes, no failures. Let's say you want to edit the code again. You can edit it, you can test it again. 
and you see how quickly this thing changes between editing and testing super fast. The reason it's so fast is that I've written a lot of this dynamic stuff in JavaScript, jQuery, and Ajax. In fact, a lot of people who were really shocked to see this at um, Flatiron's, uh, Flatiron School Science Fair uh, the other day, um, they, they noticed that uh, actually running this RSpec software test in the browser was faster than running the normal RSpec, which you normally would do in the terminal. So I actually speed up your whole testing process. And check out, again, uh, very fast. See how it loads. So I have a, let's say I have six Ruby files loaded right here that, let's say, job applicants have, have written. And I can flip through them super quickly. You notice it's not reloading the main page at all. Again, this is because I've written the code in JavaScript, Ajax, and jQuery. Same thing here. I can flip between tests, test code, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there you go. There's my very quick demo in my, uh, uh, my app called Cherry. If you want to find the actual source code, you can go to my GitHub page where I have all my software projects. And it's uh, github.com slash raining zero, R-A-Y-N-I-N-G zero. And you can see the code here. You can see a bunch of my files. I'm actually going to uh, put this video on YouTube so anyone can see it. And again, I hope to uh, see you soon, and I look forward to talking more with you.